Hey Coach Sean Castor here and welcome back for day number four of seven days to skinny jeans. And yesterday I shared with you how to create more motivation and fire underneath yourself. So now that you're all fired up, let's talk about what to do when you go out there into the real world because really eating at home is pretty easy. It's simple. Or maybe when you're working all day and that's what your focus is and you got all your meals prepped there, it's easy, okay? But when we go out with friends or with family, that's when life starts to get really challenging because suddenly happy hour sounds like a lot more uh, fun to say the least than going to the gym or sticking to our nutrition plan. So let's talk about some simple tips I can give you and exactly what I share with my current members on how to be successful. So first and foremost, when dining out, how do we win? Okay, first and foremost, skip the bread. We know that for sure, right? Second, most appetizers are not gonna serve you. Even, uh, let's say we take the shrimp cocktails or uh, the spinach dips, all that's very calorically dense because of added fats, creams, and sauces. So the best thing you can do for yourself is just to skip out unless we're talking about maybe sushi or something super light, right? Uh, but you're gonna have the best and most success if you skip the appetizer. Second, or sorry, third is going to be skip the salad as well. Most of the time, the salad without the salad dressing is 50 calories. The salad with the salad dressing is 900 calories. That's very common, it's very scary too. Honestly, I track this stuff, I sit down, I pull out my nutrition tracker and I always track. And if I'm taken back by how much is, how much is in these foods, you can only imagine what you're actually going through when you choose to consume them. So the best thing you do for yourself is to skip out, okay? Number four is going to be to stick with your protein, for your main meals, a protein source, chicken, fish, or beef as your primary dish without sauces or crap added onto it. Second is going to be starch, dead cheap, starcher, lean, or, or um, how do I say this? Vegetables. Let's just put it that way, right? I like the starchier ones. They, they leave you a little more full, like Brussels sprouts, one of my personal favorites, as you'll come to know. Broccoli, uh, spinach, anything like that's going to serve you, all right? Last but not least, then you go to what are my starches? Am I going to have one serving of brown rice, quinoa, sweet potato, whatever it may be? That's the best thing you can do. I'll just be dead honest with you. You're not going to be successful if you're like, oh, well, I worked really hard for the past five days, so I deserve... Uh, a ton of um, Chinese food or something like that, you're just not gonna reach your goal. There's no way you're gonna get there unless you are insanely meticulous about every other meal and work out like a bodybuilder, which I'm sure you don't wanna have to do, right? So the best thing you can do for yourself, if you wanna feel the best, look your best, and stay motivated, is to follow my simple advice. At least for the first couple of weeks, you'll be so motivated you won't wanna go back to the old way, okay? Next, how is your plan coming? What do we have? What challenges are you facing? What is not working? What is working? Here it is only four days in. What have you been successful with? Where can you see yourself building momentum? And what needs to change? Maybe you feel overcommitted. Maybe you need to scale back your workout commitment to three days per week. Maybe that's realistic for you to start, okay? That really comes down to you, your lifestyle, and what you have going on. Because we can all make six workouts a week work, but do we need to? Is that gonna stress us out more leaving us feeling more like a failure and falling off the wagon, which is my last thing that we're gonna talk about. So uh, last thing on this is adjust your plan just slightly and make tweaks and adjustments. Here it is four days in if you need to. If you don't, run with it, give it another week and see what must change if anything. Last but not least, falling off the wagon. Now, have you ever felt like you've fallen off the wagon? You'll get hit the ground running real hard. And I'm gonna share with you at the end of the seven day video series how to avoid this permanently. But for now, when you, if you do fall off the wagon, if you do have something you shouldn't have, it comes down to the mindset around that. And you can't really beat yourself up around it. It's not gonna serve you. It's not gonna get you anywhere, right? And if we're trying to get over there by hanging out over here and stressing out and going in circles around why we didn't eat perfectly today, it's not really gonna serve us in moving forward. So the best thing you do for yourself in falling off the wagon, pick yourself back up and get moving again. You got the plan, you have everything you need. You know how to, you know how to motivate yourself. And what I'm gonna share with you in our video tomorrow is going to be about how to manage this, the doubt, the worry, the stress, 
and get the right mindset to propel yourself forward. Have you noticed we talk a lot about specific strategies and also the thinking behind it because most people focus over here but they never really build success here and that's why most people fail when it comes to creating a lifestyle that serves them and helps them reach their goals too. So your mission for this day is to share an update in our free group, okay? And I want you to share a upcoming dining out experience. Maybe you have one tonight, maybe you have one for lunch, or maybe there's one in the future, what your intention is and how you're gonna do it, okay? Because I think everyone wants to be successful with that, right? Next, uh, how your plan's going, what needs to change, if anything. And then, if you feel like you've fallen off the wagon, just be honest about it. The more honest you are, it's gonna allow you and free you to move forward and make changes you need to. So, uh, like I said, I'll be sharing tomorrow how to win up here and propel yourself forward now that we know how to get motivated in the first place. I look forward to seeing you on the video tomorrow and your post in our group after you watch this.